Welcome to this session. We would be solving the CBSE NET paper for Geography paper 2. Now paper 2 includes 50 questions. So we will be covering 25 questions in each session. Uh, most of the questions this time were based on road learning except a few questions which were from the part of physical geography. Uh, the questions towards the end as you will see were more focused towards regional growth and regional development. So you had a lot of questions. Uh, based on the concept of inclusive growth and regional assessments. Uh, now to start with the first question, which of the following is unrelated to denudational action of mass movement? So when we talk about mass movement, we basically include five types of mass movement processes. So you have creep, slumping, uh, landslide, mud flow and uh, rock falls. So these are the basic five types of mass movement processes that we include. Expoilation is considered as a uh, process of weathering and it's not considered, uh, uh, I could say it's unrelated to mass movement. So the answer here would be expoilation. We have already covered this in the class on uh, weathering. So weathering and erosion, we have covered the uh, details on expoilation. So you can refer that. Now the next is, which of the following features are unrelated to mountain glaciation? So when we talk about glacial landforms, you have the formation of a kind of uh, this structure in the mountain which is known as cirque, the lake formation which is known as tan and if you have cirque on two or more sides, it forms like a pyramidal horn which is known as artery. Uh, fires are part of coastal landforms. So the only odd man out here would be D. So the answer would be 4. Next question. Uh, now this is a question which is kind of uh, from the section of geomorphology but directly based on uh, knowledge or I could say you have to remember this. So you have the book titles that are given and the authors that are given. You have to find the correct match. So the correct match is morphology of earth was given by King where he talked about the geological cycle and slope development. Then you have the principles of physical geography that was given by Holmes. The concept of geomorphology, uh, geomorphology by Sparks and principles of geomorphology by Thornberry. So you have 4, 1, 2 and 3 as the correct option. So the correct answer here would be 2. Now which of the following are evidences in favor of continental drift theory? We have covered this in detail when we have talked about continental drift theory. Uh, there are five basic evidences. One is zigzaw, the other is fossils in different area. Then you have the paleoclimatic conditions, the paleomagnetic conditions and the similarity in the rock structure. So from these five, you have only two that are available here. So you have A and C. You can refer the class for more details. The next is BHW, uh, BHWH climate by Copen was given for. Now BW is given for arid, BS is given for semi-arid areas, then you have H which is given for hot or warm areas and K which is given for cold areas. So BW is a kind of desert climate and H is a hot, so you have a hot desert climate and the answer here would be Thar desert. So 2 would be the correct option. Next question, the mean sea pressure of the atmosphere decreases by half at the altitude of. So we say at mean sea level the atmospheric pressure is 1000 mb millibars and it decreases at a rate of 1 for every 100 meters of ascent. So you have uh, we say at around 5.5 kilometers uh, it would be half. So the nearest to 5.5 here is 6 so the answer here would be 6. The fall in the temperature in troposphere is known as lapse rate and this we will cover in detail when we will be discussing about climatology. The next is hurricanes carry which of the following Beaufort number. Now Beaufort numbers are numbered from 0 to 12, 0 being calm and 12 being the uh, worst head. So you have hurricanes at 12. So answer here would be 12 and uh, you have uh, like uh, 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 information which says, talks about the symbol, so you have 5 lines and the speed is considered as 75 miles per hour or more than 75 miles per hour for hurricanes. 
So that's the symbol we use for preferred numbers and the answer here would be 4 that's 12. Next, uh, when we talk about reflection of radio waves, we will be covering this when we will cover the layers of atmosphere and the correct answer here is ionosphere. So you simply need to know which layers and the, the major layers of the atmosphere and the major functions of each of the layers. So ionosphere reflects the radio waves which are transmitted from the earth. So answer here would be 2. Next. So this is for the Beaufort number. You have 0 to 12 numbering here and you have the hurricanes which are marked here. And you have the symbols for um, the different type of winds. So you have the lightest air, uh, light air which is known as air. Then you have breeze, gale and finally storm and hurricane. So if this time there is a question on Beaufort scale, next time there can be a question based on the intensity. So you must know breeze, then you have gale, finally storm and hurricane. Next question, you have to match uh, the vegetation with the region. So you have uh, epiphytes which are grown in equatorial region. Okay. Baobab is a vegetation of savanna commonly found in Africa. Huge trees with a girth of say 25 meters or more. They have uh, like uh, in the deserted land you will find uh, trees and uh, the rest of the vegetation would be kind of dry and arid. And these trees live for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, one of the very, very famous baboa trees uh, located in Hyderabad which was planted by a person who moved from Madagascar to India and uh, that tree is supposed to be uh, years old and is considered is also known as a cave of 40 thieves. So Baboa is the right match is Savanna. So you have epiphytes with equatorial that's 2. So A with 2 you have 2 choices and finally you have C with Savanna that's 4. So based on this we can say one would be the correct answer. So you have acacia which is commonly found in Sahara or the desert area and junipers which are found in Mediterranean region. Next question, we have to identify the correct sequence from land to sea. Now it's important to note the sequence is asked from land to sea. Since the sequence is asked from land to sea, we start with uh, land. So the breaker, uh, the land you have swash that's towards the land. Between the swash and the surf, so you have swash that occurs towards the land. Between the swash and the surf is the transition zone. And the point where the wave breaks is known as the breaker. And that's towards the sea. So the correct answer would be from land to sea. It would be swash, transition, surf and breaker. So the correct choice here would be 3. This we have already covered in the class on oceanography. Now, uh, what is asked here is the correct order of development for a coral reef. So we say for a coral reef you have a volcanic mountain. And that is the most commonly propounded theory for coral development. This volcanic mountain slowly subsides, subsides and you have fringing reef that is found around it, formed around it. It further subsides and forms barrier reef and finally you have the rise in the sea level and the, uh, the volcanic island totally disappears I could say and this is the formation of atoll. So the correct order is uh, coral island then you have fringing reef, barrier reef and atoll. So A, B, C and D would be the correct order. Next question, which of the following lakes have highest salinity in the world? The highest salinity is of Lake Assel. Now Lake Assel is not in the choice. Since Lake Assel is not in the choice, we will go to the next closest. So the next closest is Dead Sea. So the answer here would be 4 that is Dead Sea. Now this is a very uh, kind of tricky question I could say or incomplete because alpine vegetation uh, the alt uh, at what altitude it is grown from the mean sea level varies from region to region. So since the region is not specified here, uh, it's not saying whether it's Himalaya or whether it's Australia or Tundra, uh, we'll consider the answer to be the highest. But as I said, this question is incomplete without the information. So if I say it's Australia or Tasmania, the range is from 750 meters to 1500 meters. 
If I say Himalayas, Western Himalayas, it's around 3000 meters, but towards the east, it comes to be 4000 meters. But if I talk about Tundras, it's around 4000 and above. So that's the variation. And this variation um, could be represented as 100 meter rise in altitude is equal to 80 kilometer moving northwards. So since the height across the globe is not same, uh, we have variations and this question as I said would be incomplete without uh, specification of the region where it's asked and since there is no region mentioned we will consider the uppermost limit and that would be uh, 4. Next question. Aristotles was the first to use the term geography. Geography the word means geograph, uh, geo plus graphis that is to describe earth. Geos means earth, graphis means to describe. So describing earth and this was first used by Aristotles. So the answer here would be 1. Next, the concept of stages of growth was given by Rostow. So Rostow talked about the stage model and he uh, divided the various stages as Preconditions for takeoff, takeoff where maximum development occurs, then you have the drive to majority and finally the age of or the era of high mass consumption. Uh, this has already been covered in a separate session where we have talked about the various growth models. So you can refer this growth model for detail there. Now next, which of the following is associated with mental maps? Lynch gave the idea of mental maps and uh, the basic idea is uh, about the mental map is a person's perception about the area he, is, he or she is interacting with and that is what is uh, called as mental map. So the answer here would be 3. Next, you have to match the geographers and the concepts. So Burgess gave the concentric zone theory. We have already discussed this in the urban models. So answer here would be 2. So contra uh, concentric zone theory you can refer there for detail. When we have talked about the concept of determinism and possibilism, it's well known that Semple was a determinist and uh, you had Bruns who was possibilist and finally Davis talked about the geomorphic cycles and he gave the systematic geography. So systematic geography occurs to Davis. So that is the correct match here. Now Vidal de la Blache was a proponent of possibilism. We have already covered this where we have talked about in detail the concept of possibilism and environment and possibilism believes that man uh, explores possibilities for growth rather than considering environment as a limiting factor. Now next the total world population was 500 million in the year. Now this is a question directly based on learning or knowledge. So you have the data for the various ADs, the lower estimates and the upper estimates. So as you can see at around 1500 AD I say it's from 425 to 540 and the question asks about 500. So between 500, uh, 1500 and 1600, I can say 1550 would be the correct answer for that question. Now next, the mobility transition model was propounded by Zelensky, uh, Zelensky and we have talked this in detail where we have talked about the concept of intervening opportunities and uh, like uh, how migration depends on uh, the development of an area and uh, the region or what type of society it is. Now next, which of the following city is known as Mile City? The correct answer is Denver. Now Denver is the capital of Colorado in the United States. It is known as Mile City because it is located about one uh, mile above the sea level. So this, since this city is located exactly one mile above the sea level, it's also known as Mile City and is the capital of uh, Colorado, well known for aircraft, food processing and consumer durables. Now you have two settlement patterns here. You have to find out on what basis do they resemble each other. Uh, or I could say on what basis we can differentiate these two settlements. Now I cannot say density because the area remains the same and you have the same seven settlements. So density cannot be correct option, shape remains the same and size remains the same. So the only difference is the spacing, here the settlements are located close by as compared to here where the settlements are far away. So as we can see there are a lot of questions this time from settlement geography and urban geography as well. 
which of the following is not referred to as primate city now this is a question which is given to uh, for students who have revised the syllabus very well because uh, what uh, here is asked is not the names of the common primate cities but some exceptional cities so rabat would be the correct answer in morocco it is not an example of a primate city so primate city as we have already covered in one of the lectures it's one of the cities which is exceptionally larger to the next city in line which one of the following places on india ranks second among the coldest inhabited place in the earth on the earth so you have omaya kokan in russia which is the a very remote village with minus 50 degrees celsius and it's the coldest inhabited place on the earth the next is in india and it is dras located 60 kilometers from kargil in the areas of jammu kashmir so the correct answer here would be four that is dras located in jammu kashmir 60 kilometers away from kargil so with this we cover the first 25 questions for the net examination we will be covering the further questions in the subsequent class you can subscribe to exam race channel for any further update have a good day